level where other things can't. And that's what it, it did that night. And um, it, was, it was really fun. It's, uh, I think it's the one thing we all truly uh, take to our heart. So whenever we do it together, it starts to develop. Then you have the Care Bear Cousins. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, uh, so how did you guys both start hanging out? Amazing band. Somebody that's going to blow oh. your mind. Something that's different well, from anything uh, you've heard. Uh, well, that's it's actually, it's a pretty long story. It's pretty cool. All right. Uh, me and Chad actually we went have to time. elementary. Kick it fresh one time. Wicka, wicka. I said, we got time. Kick it fresh. Wicka, wicka. <laughs> well, uh, me and Chad, um, we knew each other. Uh, since elementary school, we actually went to elementary school together, and we went to birthday party, our, each other's birthday parties. Yeah, he had his birthday party at Celebration Station, and we were playing our <laughs> we were doing aliens, aliens versus Predator. We were up on that arcade game for uh, a very long time. So we actually uh, just grew up in the same neighborhood, and uh, a lot of came from that. You know, just back in the day, we were just listening to music and try and pretend that I could skateboard, at least, for me. And, uh, and well, uh, we never really skateboard. <laughs> but uh, I remember just going over to John's house, and he was learning to play guitar, so it's really funny what's happened now. And uh, Chris lived, like, you know, like two minutes away from my house, too. So met him, we started hanging out, and the thing we had in common, for sure, was uh, music taste. And me and him started jamming, well, too. So what, so were we had, that? Like, what was that music taste? Like, because right now, listening to your music now, you seem to have a real kind of seventies influence, very, very kind of Andy Warhol-ish, you know, that kind. Of, I, definitely nothing that's that's popular now. You you have a very much your very distinctive own sound. It, it gets not it's not comparative to anything that's out right now at all. I mean, you are completely your own entity of music. So, so what what kind of taste did, were you li- were you listening to back then? That could have, that could have possibly have been. Cause you're just so much of your your own your own your own individual selves. So, it, yes. what was popular to you then? Well, to then and now, we all have uh, similar and completely different tastes. You loved Tiffany and Debbie Gibson, didn't you? Tell the fucking truth. No, it's, uh, we are... Alright, well, we'll talk with you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, go ahead. Uh, we, uh, we have, uh, you know, very different pieces in music and, uh, different backgrounds with music, but, you know, we also share some love for, uh, for, uh, certain styles of music. Um, so, even back then, I mean, uh, uh, we started listening to, you know, some metal bands, some, uh, hardcore bands, pretty young age, and, uh, and I think that was pretty how it all started, and that's how we started getting into music, with, uh, some extremes of music. And I think, it, well, I'm speaking for myself, it slowly uh, developed, and then um, and then we just started to listen to... Uh, so you're pretty you know, much metal skater kids, right? Kind of. I mean, kind no. of. I don't know. I guess I could ollie pretty high, so... <laughs> Yeah, no, actually, uh, John, John, actually, you know, the uh, singer, guitarist, John, uh, he had a, a very good uh, band back in high school, and uh, the name of his band, uh, band was Eternal Life, and uh, they used to play, like, amazing, amazing progressive hardcore, uh, and they used to play the Java Jazz all the time back in the day, and uh, it was just really cool, uh, I remember in high school seeing him play, and just thinking, like, oh, man, that guy's really good. You know, hopefully we can, in the future, all play together. And uh, and here we are now. And it kind of happened, and it's so awesome that we can do this, you know. We're all friends, so right now it's really fun. We all love music with, with you know, with a passion. So we're very happy with what we're doing right now, for sure. Well, that's awesome. So the next song we got coming up, and... I like this song. <laughs> this is my favorite out of all of them. It's Blueberry Jam. And it made just because I'm a big girl and I like anything that has to do with jam. But, <laughs> but uh, tell me a little bit about Blueberry Jam. Oh, Blueberry Jam, it, it came about, um, 
me, Chad, and Chris were we were practicing in the in the living room, and it just it it just happened. Like it was it was a very you long know time. if anyone just tuned in and heard that line, <laughs> guys, this is not that kind of show. We are talking about music. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually talking about the jam I put on my toast. But <laughs> songs are different. Whatever there, you got to tell yourself, brother. <laughs> but yeah, it was, that, it was that originally actually it turned in. It was about um, we jammed that like it was like a jam that lasted hours, like hours, and we were just exploring it. And what you have to do when you have a a new a new riff? And we're talking about music. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> But, I'm but, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's all good. But um, what happens when you when you develop a new riff or a new jam? Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, everyone wants to explore it in their own way. So you know, like uh, I feel like we're really connected on on the sense of when we jam, we can all uh, let each other explore the riff as much as we want. You know, and um, that's. That's pretty much how this song came has came out, and that's a lot of how the new songs came out. It hasn't necessarily been one person writing writing it; it's been the whole band writing it, and that's what um, has really been uh, awesome lately. It's uh, all of our different. Where did the blueberry here. part come from? Um, that was uh, the name was kind of uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. it was a, it was a schnozberry <laughs> tastes like schnozberries. The song itself is actually just a jam song, and so we just threw blueberry jam on there, kind of pretty you easy like to do. blueberry jam. <laughs> Very basic there. You just like blueberry jam. I think right? that blueberry jam is the best jam ever made uh, next to lava jam. Have you ever had lava jam? It's really good. Lava jam I haven't. I don't know even know what that is. So. Oh, lava is this really delicious fruit, and uh, I'm actually from Mexico, so I was actually brought up in Mexico, I'm Jonathan, I play guitar and keyboard, and uh, I was uh, I was brought up in Mexico, and uh, I moved here in 1999, and um, and that's when I met these guys, like in 2002-ish, and uh, anyway, guava is delicious, and, uh, and it's a good Can I get jam. it at Fiesta? You might be able to, actually, yes. How do you spell you it? Now I want to check it out. G U A V A, guava. Okay, I'm gonna wow. get yeah. some because oh, it's really cool. good. It's a. It's a I, really I no, I, I I know guava is. I drink guava juice all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. No, the guava juice. Is awesome. Guava and, jam uh, part two. Very <laughs> jam. But no, uh, you know, I think the name of uh, the song came out from sitting around and uh, and. I think John just said, like, oh, man, it's such a good jam. It's, it's a blueberry jam, and we're like, oh, sweet. <laughs> that sounds and tastes well, delicious. Well, then we'll yeah. play it, and we'll let the audience decide if they like blueberry jam, too. <laughs> so, like ladies it. and gentlemen, here is some fill for you, some blueberry jam. Have your taste.
So that's what blueberry jam tastes like. Oh yes. For anybody out there who doesn't have taste buds, now you have the experience. 